So let's talk about different types of markets so that you're aware of what's out there and how you can expand into these markets. So the first thing is foreign markets. So the last thing that possibly passed your mind uh, is foreign markets, but most businesses tend to forget about foreign markets. And I'm not just talking about language here. I'm talking about countries, whether it be a different country or a different language, they tend to be massive markets and far less expensive in terms of marketing. For example, a lot of people tend to have an English product and some people will come along and translate the product into say, for example, Spanish to reach the Spanish market or into French and vice versa. And, and, and there are many, many different potential markets out there. Uh, so you could easily get things translated, if, especially if you have some sort of intangible or digital product. Now, it's obviously going to be easier to sell things if you have a digital or intangible product, such as an ebook or video, and that could be easily translated into a different language versus a actual physical product. Uh, but I want you to begin thinking of how you can possibly expand into those markets because the barrier to entry is often easier. So many countries besides the US of A are surpassing in technological and financial capabilities, making it easier for you to actually reach them. And in terms of marketing, there tends to be less competition in specific places because most people don't think about it, nor really know how to do so. And that brings us to cultures. Cultures or the way of life can actually impact the way somebody buys. And this also brings us to the way of life in terms of where somebody lives, such as urban city life versus rural life. So for example, the way of life can impact the mindset of your potential buyers. For example, someone who lives and works in a big city may not care about the same things that another person in a smaller rural area cares about. So for example, maybe your product uh, relates more to somebody who is in the urban city life, or maybe somebody some sort of product that you have relates more to the rural life. So if you have that in mind, then you could reach a specific location, but you know, okay, this is gonna sell more to this specific person with this specific mindset. So these are definitely potential markets that you might be missing out on. So it might be good to look past just the specific locations and past that once you've built on that once you're doing well then maybe you can move on to other markets as well and in terms of marketing it'll be a lot easier especially for example ranking on Google you know something that might be very competitive in the United States or in the UK or wherever you are it might be very very competitive but maybe you can translate that into Spanish or into France or something else that may not be as competitive. So doing so, you obviously, if you don't know the language, you'll need to find somebody to translate it and maybe find somebody to market it and things like that. But these are all great things just to think about and how you can expand into those markets. But obviously, you definitely want to tackle the initial market first before you move on and expand into other markets. But definitely want to keep this in mind for future reference. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.